Bradford, Yorkshire, one of the UK's most deprived cities. The fight to earn a living wage here is as tough as anywhere. I want to just get a normal routine and live a normal life with a job. But there is one woman who wants to fight back. Jane Vincent set up her own recruitment agency. We need to give back to our local community. And with the help of her team, Hello. she wants to get people back into work. Sell yourself. Yes, please. Are you free? Getting the locals a job isn't easy. You'd need to stop talking in your language. I've had a medical secretary that's smelled of weed. Are you free to start today? I have had no sleep in three days. <laughs> The world of recruitment can be unpredictable. If you can be any kitchen appliance, what would you be and why? Really? <laughs> Frustrating. I'm crying again. Well, he should do his job properly, Carla. Keep lazy ass. Sometimes impossible. Do you think I'm drunk? There's no way you can work. No way. I, I, I can smell it on you. But with Jane and her team giving it their all... We've got a job! GT got offered. Yay! I'm so happy I found the all. <laughs> There's hope for everyone. What the hell with that? <laughs> I am very determined. Very determined. <laughs> Look at these people. The world of recruitment never stands still. More staff needed one minute, staff laid off the next. What I'm saying is if I don't have the job, Saba, I can't give it to you. I can only give when I have. Finding the right job for the right person is an art, not a science. We deal with the most unreliable commodity there is, people. Veronica is dead. What do you mean? She's just not gone to work for two days. If I miss the bus, it's up to me to get to work. It's really annoying when people let you down. Hi, Amina, it's Rachel at Candelisa. I'm presuming you're not coming. I can't say, oh, I can't go to work because I missed the bus. No matter how much vetting, how much recruitment, how much screening we actually go through, at the end of the day, there's still people and you put them into a job and then you never know what's going to happen next. This morning, one of Carlos's factory workers has been let go due to a poor attendance record. I need someone as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I put that much stress on myself to help someone, and at the end, they let you down as well. When they do that to you, it, it, it hurts. It actually does hurt. To stop the client going to another agency, Carlos has to find a replacement worker by the end of the day. If you could go in, go in. With none of his regular workers available, Carlos has decided to take a gamble on a new worker on his books. Hi, I'm here for Carlos. Hey, this is Becky. Becky is 19 years old and has never had a paid job. I've been looking for work about a year now. I moved into my new flat in September. You wouldn't believe how much money you have to pay out on, on bills and everything till you've moved out. I used to say to my mum all the time, it's easy, but it's not. There's bills coming out of everywhere that you have to pay for. If I could move and I was really well off, I'd probably move to New York. It just seems like a really beautiful, happy place to be. Hi, Becky, love. Can you come and have a seat? Hi, yeah. are you all right? Yeah, yeah. OK. The other lady that was actually there, Yeah. the reason why we let her go, she had a day off here, two days off there, another yeah. day here, and then she would be late when she's supposed to start at a certain time. Yeah. They don't have really, like, patience yeah. for, for someone like that. How would you get to work? Bus. Bus? Yeah. What I would suggest to say, when you catch the bus, yeah. you don't always wait for the last bus to get you there on time. Yeah. You always get the bus before, just in case. Yeah. So, if you ask me questions I about do that, that anyway. <laughs> right, yeah, so that is great, all right. Are you happy to start on £7.25 an hour? Yeah. OK, yeah, that's, that's what they start you on, and then yeah. after training, if you pass your training, they do put your wage back up. OK, okay? yeah, that's fine. That's to be enough. honest, I wasn't expecting that. Well, good luck. <laughs> all right. You. But Becky's never had a full-time job in a big corporate company, so will Carlos's decision pay off? Hi, Ben. 
Yeah, I can hear you. It's another frantic day at the office. I'm sure about TNT at the minute. I don't deal with that. Um, but I need to speak to Carlos. All right, then. Thanks ever so much. Bye. And to make matters worse, Phil is a no-show. I just had Phil phone us up to say that he's got a migraine and he's not coming in. It's a great start today. It's a major problem for the team, as the temps Phil has booked in for today haven't shown up for work. Four no-shows. There's four no-shows and I don't know who they are. So I hope these aren't four new starters. And they're not answering at all. Baby. Morning. Hello. Hello. I'm in the middle of a disaster here. It's all hands on deck, as Rachel and Carlos have been dealing with the fallout of Phil's no-shows. It's big news as the client is one of Jane's biggest contracts. So he didn't go check his temps in this morning? Hello, and four haven't gone. To the right oh, so, just so you know, because you haven't read your emails yet, they were all emailed, but not the four that haven't gone haven't responded. I think he should have rung them on the mobiles, then he should have texted. You know what it's like, you have to babysit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspecting some fallout, Phil has put in an anxious call to Carlos. All right, hit us with it. Well, yeah. Yeah, but look, I tell everyone, just make sure you work. I can't, it's not your fault. Oh dear. All right, don't worry, all right, okay. See you, mate, bye. Fucking crying again. Well, he should do his job properly, Carlos. <sighs> Honestly, he needs to grow a pair of balls now because I'm really getting pissed off. So why is he crying? He obviously knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He's cocked up. If we were to lose this contract, it's massive. But I made mistakes and I learned from those mistakes. You drop the ball, pick it back up, let's go. With Phil away, Jane has to try to salvage the agency's relationship with the client. I've got to ring the client back now, haven't I? Bye. Okay. Lucy! Hi, it's Jane from Candelisa the People. Sorry about this morning, it's been a nightmare, it's bloody typical, the day it all happens, Phil's off sick. One is fair enough, but four in one go, I know, I can understand where you're coming from, I'm so, so sorry. Alright, cheers Lucy, thanks a lot, bye, bye, bye. No, right, cheers dude, alright, okay, bye. Was that him again? God, you're far too soft. I'm not too soft. You are. You need to see things from both sides. I am seeing things from both sides. Alright, look, look, right, just stop a second, right? You get this, right? How many years of experience have you got? Uh, lots. Right? I made shit loads of mistakes when I was starting in this. Loads, right? And you learn from them. He's come from bloody serving teas and coffee on a plane. He has not. Yes, he has. He's worked in recruitment, doing bulk recruitment. Look, this. In a contact centre. It's different. Okay, I okay. Would have let me calm down, let me calm down, because I'm mad now. Because I know, the I know. I'm upset because the client's mad with us. Right? I know. I know it's you're upset. common sense. Carlos, right, there's not just us, there's three other agencies in there. So we're competing for the slots. So who are you going to call if you've got a vacancy tomorrow? Who are you going to call? Us? No. Well, you'll have to put you'll it... You'll call the one it. that filled all your vacancies. <clears throat> this one error could lose us a contract that is worth thousands and thousands of pounds with a great blue trip company. And it's all about the basics, customer service. And if we lose this contract, then Phil will lose his job. If Jane and her team lose the trust of a client, there's always another agency waiting to take that business. I've got lots of friends who are in HR, and they say to me, I get 20 calls a day from recruiters wanting my business. 20 calls a day, you know, how are you going to make sure you're different from those other 20? How are you going to impress that HR person for her to take your call or him to take your call? It's, it's a hard industry. With one major client hanging in the balance, Jane's heading off to Certec, a global manufacturer, to try to win back the contract she lost 10 years ago. We lost the temp business, which was a massive revenue um, earner for us. So I would love, absolutely love, to get the temp contract back. If they were happy to split it 50-50, you know, I'll have half of it, but ultimately I'd love all of it. Certec has 300 workers and a £15 million turnover. 
They make circlips, metal clips that hold together the components in machines and vehicles. Due to the continued growth of the business, Surtec regularly needs staff. HR manager Denise has agreed to see Jane because she's considering taking on a second agency to supply more temps. The agency needs to understand the working environment that, that people will be working in, so the type of people that will fit in. It's laborious, it's a very laborious job, yeah. I mean, I think if we could, we would automate a lot of the jobs that we do. I've been doing this job for 49 years. Um, I've always found it very interesting and get a bit of, well, a lot of satisfaction out of it. These type of machines and what we were doing come in long before computers. A lot of the young kids today don't want to do the job. A shortage of willing workers for them means a business opportunity for Jane. <laughs> Jane needs to convince Sertek that she understands the business and can supply the right kind of staff. So hot. Yeah. Well, it is in here. So these are the areas that we're probably looking to increase our tent numbers for. OK. Is it all women that do this, then, it looks like? Yes, yeah, the job is nimble-fingered, so it yeah, tends yeah, to be yeah. more women. Yeah. I know you've got an agency at the minute and that's contracted. If they ever let you down, would you use another? Absolutely. Would yeah, you? I wouldn't hesitate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what, what would we need to do to... if they um, won't let you pick up the phone and ring? <laughs> Uh, well, I suppose from the back of this, it's like proving that you can get what we're looking for. Jane's got the chance to supply four trial workers. But can she find the right people for the job? Yesterday, Phil was off sick, and four of his temps failed to turn up for work at one of the agency's biggest clients. This morning, he's arrived early, and Carlos has some words of advice for him. Uh, I know, but look, look, look. I fucked up many times before I got it right. So, honestly, I don't need to worry about it. I want you to be upbeat. I want you to be back on track. And just like, the next one you put in, make sure that it'll turn in. Yeah. Yeah. With Jane still facing the prospect of losing one of her biggest clients, she calls Phil in for a face-to-face -face meeting. Our job ain't easy, Phil. No. It ain't easy. And it's a hard industry. And, and from your perspective, you know, can you cope with that hardness? I'm sort of trying, Jane. I can't do it. But why are you giving up already? Because it's making me ill. Why is it making just, me ill? Because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm shit. <sighs> no, do you want to do it? Don't, don't cry on, Dylan. I want you to be like a man now. I want you to tell me to me first. And I want you to tell me what you don't like, what you do like. I want to do it. I'm not a quitter. Clients to win a contract, every agency is over them like rashes. Everybody's prepared to stab you in the back. We need to keep the clients happy. And if that means like micromanaging our candidates, that's what we've got to do. How do you feel? Emotional. Yeah. I mean, Jane, she, she's like a great mum figure. And the worst thing you want to do is feel like you're letting somebody down. This job, the pressure is just bang straight on. And I think you do bottle it up because you don't want to feel that you're a failure. Raquel, meeting. Okay. Yeah. Carlotte. Yes. What I have asked Phil to do is go now to the client and apologise for what happened yesterday. Problem is, if we lose that client, we've just won the contract for the perm business which is going to be vast. They're a massive multinational organisation. And before we've even got a chance to prove ourselves on the perm side, we could potentially be losing yeah. the tent business. And if that happens, and if we lose money, potentially people have to be made redundant because we won't have enough jobs for people. 
Phil is absolutely at this make or break point and I feel for him because I've been exactly there but he can't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet and I think he's cried and he's not slept and I think if you don't want to do it just go do something easier go sell cheese or something In recruitment, Jane and her team never know what kind of people will walk through the door. But what they do know is that pinstripe suit or onesie, you have to treat everyone the same. So talk to me about what you've done so far. Has it mainly been bar work and things? Or? Bar work, I've worked for HSBC, I've done hotel work. What have you been doing since? A bit of cash in hand work. So I'm not ask. <laughs> no. It's always a gamble with people. But then I think what we've learned over the years is give them the chance to just see is there something more behind that first impression? How old are you now? Uh, going on to 62. 62. You're never too old to learn. I like to be different, I like to stand out. When you've gone for interviews past, have you ever had any comments? No, it's never it's never stood in the way. What have you been doing? Oh, I've been pulling a chimney down today. <laughs> oh, but you look like you've been on a call heap yeah, or something. 26-year-old Ashley has popped back to the agency. He's come in to fill out his application form. Ashley's been out of work for months and is desperate for a job. Right, I had to sell my dog to pay my rent and keep up with my bills. To be fair, I sold my dog because that was my last resort before signing on, and now I've had to sign on and sell my dog, so... It's a today. It looks Italian. It looks like it's right good in bed. It looks like it, it looks like it, but not in bed. <laughs> Carlos is interviewing Ashley for a new vacancy, moving boxes at a warehouse. I see you ready. I can put you forward for industrial work. I just want to make sure it is something that you're going to want to do. No, I don't, I don't mind physical labour, manual labour. I don't mind Definitely getting muck. I don't mind getting that. mucky and any of that. That kind of stuff, it doesn't bother me at all. It's not the fact of liking a job, it's the fact yeah. of... You've got bills to pay, up, so... What I will say is that I will give you that chance, and that's all I can do. And then once you go, it's what you do there, how long you're going to last. Yeah. All right? Nice to meet Perfect. you, Ashley. Nice to meet you. Carlos has given Ashley a job moving boxes in a factory. It's industrial work, and Jane's not convinced he's right for the job. This job's come through. It's Seabrook's crisps. A box of crisps, it weighs nothing, right? It's an easy job. I don't think that you're suitable for industrial. But I don't think he's the type that will walk out. Well, he sold but his dog. All I'm worried I would. What would you sell first? I wouldn't sell my dog hmm. so in a million years. That would be the last thing I'd sell. Sell you. No, you wouldn't. I'm your dog. <laughs> Get down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of Carlos's candidates is 19-year-old Becky, who's hoping to secure her first paid job at the chemicals factory. After Carlos's last temp there was sacked, Hello, good afternoon. he's Hi, put his faith in Becky to regain the trust of the client. All right, Becky, thank you. Bye. Chris Danes is a global chemical company. Based in Bradford, its wheels are kept turning by 550 workers who generate a turnover of £143 million a year. The man Becky needs to impress is works manager Neville, who's used to turning temporary workers into permanent staff. I would say half of the people on the shop floor in the warehouse departments and production started through agencies, and most of them have been here 10 years plus now. Hi, you okay? Hi, how are you? Want to come this way? Yeah. Are you nervous? Um, a bit. Do you like interviews? Not really. Good. <laughs> I haven't met anybody yet who likes interviews. <laughs> Have a drink of water whenever you want. All right, thank you. Okay. And we'll kick off with your school. Right. Can you remember what grade you got? Maths, for instance? I got a D in maths. Just missed out. Yeah, what a two shame. marks. What a shame. What about and same you? in English, but one mark. Oh, no. Right. When was the last time you got angry? I don't really lose my temper. No? No. I'm what, a bit what? of a pushover. <laughs> what, what about at work? Have you ever lost your temper at work? No? Mm. Anybody, anybody really upset you and you thought, I don't I, need this. this. I haven't really ever had a job. Just 
just apart from voluntary, but, okay. but that n there's right. never had it been a situation where I've had to... Okay, to so you're a calm, yeah. mild, meek person. Yeah. Okay. So, blow your trumpet now. Why, yeah. why Becca? Because I'm, I'm just willing to learn anything and I'd want to keep busy. I'd always come yeah. to you and say, is there anything more for me to do? Because then you're not clock watching. So I think I'd work hard for you. So I'm happy with your answers. Right. Um, I'm willing to offer a job straight away. You've done really, really well. Thank you. And I'm, I'm happy to start a Monday. Thank you. Is that OK? Yeah. I'm really, really, really happy. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Time to start maturing and paying the bills. <laughs> yeah. Right, OK, well. Thank well you. done, you've done really well. It's the first step of Becky's working life, but she'll have to prove she can stick at the job if Carlos is to get his fee and the approval of the client. And how would you describe your kind of computer skills? After four of his attempts failed to turn up for work, Phil has been to the client in person to apologise. No, it, it's, it's not an easy job. It's, it's kind of almost like not being afraid of the foe. The client has agreed to give Phil another chance to impress. He's been asked to find a new call centre worker. And, and then what are you doing after that? It's important he finds a standout candidate, so the whole office is helping. Hey, Gordon, how are you? Hey, hey, Carlos. 38-year-old Gordon has been on Carlos's books for six months and is looking for a new challenge. If it's all right with yourself, uh, one of my colleagues, Phil, he's got work for customer service. Are you happy to see Phil? I'm happy to see Phil. I'm always keen to work because I'm a people person, as you well know that yeah. I am. I'm ever reliable and trustworthy, and uh, I just can't wait to get going, get up and go. And I'll never let anyone down. Right. I can see you're really enthusiastic. Um, show your bubbly side, and um, I'm sure you'll go a long way, definitely. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm a very bubbly lad, yeah, you see. Are. I mean, uh, years ago, I was on television myself. I, was, I won, I won um, Blind Date in the year 2000. You, you won know. that? Yes, I was <laughs> indeed, yeah. And was I that with Scylla? Scylla Black. I met, I met her, the one indeed, and lovely lass that I got as well. I won, uh, I won the day, I won it to Jersey, and it was just the only thing that wasn't there, we didn't get a spark, but oh, right. she loved everything uh, about Are you in a relationship now? Uh, no, not now. No. But uh, I always get a, a lady laughing. And do you know? That's, you know, that's a secret they say. If you get a lady laughing, the, there's a saying there, you're, you're on the way. Yeah. I do all kinds of things to make them laugh, so I can impersonate people. Impersonate uh, people? Right. Knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing Joe Carlos. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's got the personality, but it will be up to Phil to decide whether he puts him forward. Hi, is it Gordon? Yeah, hi. Hi, Phil. I'm Phil. He wants to work. I love people like that. They really want to work. They don't just come here to go through the motions because you get loads of those. They're a parcel delivery and courier service. I don't know if you, you've heard of them before. Yeah. Yeah, fabulous. It's like TNT. It's like them all. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon's a really good egg. Need more eggs like Gordon. Phil okay. decides to recall Gordon for a more formal interview. Is that all right? That's fantastic. Fabulous. Yeah. We look very smart today anyway. It's always good. Yeah. All right, so I'll speak to you very soon. It's the sort of environment that, uh, that I crave for and then um, the, the job itself, dealing with the customer service, with me being a people person, it would be absolutely fantastic. How are you feeling, Philippe? Do you feel better now? Better. Why? Everything that was going around in my head is out in the open. And it's not, it's not, it's not destroying you from the inside. Is that what they were doing, destroying you from the inside? Yeah, because you kind of think... But you are a drama queen. I'm such a drama queen, you know? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. This heat's there. Um, it's out. It feels like off shoulders. And I've slept much better. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This case of, right, come in. You know what I've got to do? Crack on. You're still going to work, work, booty work off. hard for me. Work hard, work hard, work hard. Sometimes you can have days where you just think, can I do this anymore? Or am I, I, am I really cut out for this? So it does make you think sometimes. Cheers. Is he making loads of money by you? Yeah. You've got to be very resilient in recruitment. You've got to be able to keep just going and going through good times and bad. With one client seemingly back on side, 
Jane is returning to Certec in a bid to win back the business she lost 10 years ago. She's going to work a shift on the factory floor to get a better understanding of what skills are needed for the job. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Agatha has been here for four years, stacking machine clips for eight and a half hours a day at six pounds fifty an hour. Be gentle with me. I'm used to talking lots and have physical labour. Can't even see what I'm putting them into. Is that it? No. No. You have to try again, okay? Yeah, out again. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. You have to leave this. Ah! Oh. The basket. That's all. That's quite hard. How many of these do you have to do an hour? It's about 4,000 clips per hour. 4,000 clips per hour. What did you do before this? Uh, I came from Poland, so I studied in Poland. I came here because I saving money for a better life. Uh, and is it better? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. I mean, I've struggled, I'll be really honest. I mean, would, would you be able to tell if I could do the job by now or not? Uh, yeah, and uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> After finishing her shift, Jane meets with HR manager Denise. I really understand the role now. Until you physically do it. Yeah. I don't think you realise. Yeah. Can you provide that calibre of person that can yeah. do that job and stay with that job? It's like having a trial of three or four people. I know we've got people who can do the job. This is our chance to prove ourselves. I want the ones that come in to be yeah. perfect. So the test will be, can you get people that can actually do it? After her time on the factory floor at Certec, Jane earned the chance to trial four temps. She's handed the task of finding the four workers to Carlos. You really need to make sure you pull all the stops out with this boyo. Yeah, because I don't normally, do I? Thanks. Clawing back a contract with such a major client could transform the agency's fortunes. So only the fastest fingered workers will do. And Carlos is putting candidates to the test. There's some that are perfect and some that is broken. If it goes straight through, perfect. If it sticks, it's bad. So what I want you to do is put the good ones on one side, the bad ones on another side, so separate. Okay. And you've got three minutes to do that. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Your three minutes starts now. This is easy job, like this is perfect for the me. Don't panic. Boring. <laughs> if it's the way I can get my first references in England, I can do this. One minute, 25 seconds. 47 seconds, that's good. That was one minute, 34 seconds. So again, you've done it in half the time. The question I want to ask you now is, do you think you can do that for yeah. eight hours? Yeah, I think. Yeah? Mm -hmm. See ya. Hi, it's Jane now needs just one more candidate she can put her faith in for the trial. Hiya. Hello. I was wondering if you've got any application forms for um, for jobs. What do you do? Just man right. manual labour. Take a seat. <laughs> Sean has been unemployed for the last six Go. years since being made redundant from the local sawmill, and he's struggling to support his five children. It's been very tough. If I got a job today. I'd be able to get internet, be able to get credit on my phone, what are considered um, luxuries on and necessities. I'd, I'd better get more food. I'd better give my kids more treats. I'd better get them an ice cream. When you worked at your last company, talk to me about what that job involved. Um, well, I worked in a sawmill. I was first aider, so you can imagine. <laughs> Plenty of fingers. I'm missing. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, look at that. Really? What would you love to do job wise? It's not about really what I want to do, but it's about money, wage, security. Even if it's minimum wage, if you can get overtime and stuff like that, or you can get on a shift system, you know what I mean, just to improve your wage. Would you do like a day trial if you got paid for it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. I want you to do something for me. Show me what I'm supposed Come to on. do. If he has the aptitude, the one-day trial could earn Sean £48.75. He held a job down for a long, long time. So he's proved he's, a, he's not a job hopper. So 
hopefully, you know, we can be the one to get him back on the ladder. Yeah, no, great. Well done, you. Perfect. Tomorrow morning, half past seven, bright and breezy, ready to impress. Thank you. Take Cheers, care. Thank Thanks you. a lot, my Bye. love. Bye. Today started just like any other day when I'm going to walk into an agency and probably get fobbed off again, but these didn't. I'm just chuffed out, I might be able to just march a little bit more forward, do you know what I mean? It's 19 year old Becky's first ever day at work, but will this be the job for her? Once you get a routine, you'll be absolutely fine. Right. So. She will be working alongside Lisa, who's been here for two years. Becky's on a week-to-week -week contract, labelling buckets for eight hours a day. It's really not easy. It will be once you get used to it. Yeah. But don't panic if you can't. OK. Turn it off. You know? All right. Straight as you can at the top. Yeah. Straight down there. And then over. And then flat. Right. And then there's no bubbles. We're not allowed bubbles. But if you want to have a go at one... Right. We've 14,000 of these to do. 350 a day, maybe 400. So as long as we get that done, it'll be fine. If Becky's got a red screw with on, um, she'll value the fact that her first ever paid job was sticking stickers on tubs. In the future, she'll remember she started earning money the hard way. And uh, good luck to her. Becky will earn the agency a fee each month if she turns up on time every day. It can be boring, you know. I'll stand there and speak to you, so we'll be, we'll be all right. <laughs> uh, probably two years, I thought. No, you for sure, God. Yeah. <laughs> right, go on then, I'll let you do another. I'd love to live in New York. So why would you want to go to New York then? What's out there, then not, not here? Carlos. Okay. After taking a chance on another okay. new recruit, Ashley, Carlos has just heard that the onesie wearer has only lasted a week in his warehouse job. Hello, my lovely. Um, just had a phone call to say they want to let Ashley go. Why? Well, apparently it, their reasoning is he's only got one gear and um, everything they ask him to do, there's always a question why. Well, you should just get on with it. You should just do it. Yeah. I'm going to get Ashley to come in to see what his side of the story is. Basically, what they've told me is, your work, it's like you don't really want to be there. You're there because you're there. Um, well, all right. It wasn't that, it wasn't that bad, to be fair. I did... I didn't, I didn't enjoy it, but I liked it. But I did it. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, you're like one paste. You just have one pace, and sometimes, like when you're going on your break, everyone else is back, but you're, you're taking like 35 minutes, or you're just coming back to your old casual way. Do you know what? I'm not bothered about them letting me go, but do you know the one thing I can't deal with is liars. They're just going by the work effort, and they just don't feel that it is the right job for you, and that's where we stand at the moment, all right? I'm not bothered. Okay. Thanks okay. for coming to see me, Ashley. Cheers. All right. See it. First time I've ever been let go from a job, but I don't have bad blood for against anyone. To be fair, I'm not. To be fair, I'm a little bit gutted, but there's always tomorrow. After four of his temps were a no-show at work last week. Phil's under pressure to keep the call centre client happy. Um, normal hours in the role are nine till half past five. So he's making sure that all the workers he's already placed there are performing to the highest standards under Jane's watchful eye. So these are temp assessments, yeah? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. that's the RV. Okay, four in four weeks. Yeah. Initiative, okay, accuracy, productivity. So you need to ring this person and do the ham sandwich with that. Look. They absolutely love you, they think you're doing great. However, Chantel, your punctuality is appalling and they dismiss people on that. What can we do to help you improve? Yeah. But other than that, you're doing brilliant. Yeah. Yeah? What do I enjoy about working in recruitment? I like meeting people, the genuine people who want to find work. 
I want to make sure they're successful so they can do me proud, but then they can go off and potentially build, start building a career and they can think about going, well, I got that job through Candidly's people. They really understood me as a person rather than, yep, yeah, candidate, that's a job, off you go. Phil's also looking for a new call centre worker and he needs this one to tick all the boxes. Carlos has recommended one of their regulars. Hi, Gordon. Hi, you Phil. Right? Yes, sir. Grab a seat. I'll be about five minutes. All right. Okay, minutes. that's fine. Ah. Hello. Oh, I love dogs. Hi. Gordon's never worked in a call centre before, but he's eager to step up to a more challenging role. So, customer service. What kind of key? skills do you feel that you have of the phone? Right. Always be calm, collective yeah. and always sound happy. Even though the customer might not be happy, but always sound professional. Um, difficult customers, if it was customer that was speaking to you over the phone and they were abrupt, rude. Do you know what, Gordon? I'm really unhappy and I want this resolving. Talk me through the step-by-step -step process you would have in having to try and deal with that. So, first thing there, yeah. I would have said, uh, right, please calm down. You don't need to say to customer, what I need you to do is calm down. Some customers, that may aggravate the situation. What do you mean? I am, no, I won't calm down. I want it resolving. So it's almost like the easiest way to calm down is actually let them finish and then go, what I want to do is just check, have I got everything right? So what you've told me is X, Y, and Z. Is that correct? So you're going to get a, what responses can you get to that? Is that correct? You're going to either get a yes or a no. Thanks. It's almost like putting yourself in the customer's what? Shoes. Exactly. I mean, overall, I would feel comfortable offering you the temporary position with the, the contact centre client. How do you feel now? I feel fantastic. I hope you do really well, but don't let me down. All right. That was I'll there. never do that. Fabulous. All right. Thank See you. you soon. Bye now. Bye. Almost like a dating agency. You, you're putting two people together for the first time and hoping they gel. You give them a spec, you match it with that person, put them together, and hopefully they'll live happily ever after. It's 7.30 a.m. and the day of Candelisa's temp trial at the Circlips factory. It's the agency's chance to impress the company and win back the business. I don't want to add pressure to you guys, but, uh, you know, you're the first people we're putting in there, so our future with this client is in your hands. That's what, that's what I'm saying. With a contract worth thousands of pounds at stake, the agency need to prove their workers are the best. For Dad of Five, Sean, today's trial is his first prospect of a permanent job in six years since being laid off at the sawmill. Oh, oh why are you? Push it through. But Sean's struggling with the fiddly work. It's not doing it. It's not doing it. It's too long on one side. I'll get it. It's all right. I'll get it. Come on. Like this. Yeah, look, it won't go. Oh, you fucker. While Sean's struggling, the other trial temps are excelling at their tasks. I actually, I don't know for what they're using this. And I know I just should do in one hour 350 of this. What are you thinking about? Mostly I try to turn off my head and, you know, just do this thing. And when I'm done, then I go back to life. After a rocky start, Sean is beginning to get into the routine. Yay! Seems to be all right. I like getting my hands dirty, I love machines. Um, and I don't mind being busy, so yeah. Yeah, I hope I get a job. After seven and a half hours of hard graft from the temps, Carlos is getting the verdict from supervisor Andy. Sean struggled a little bit down in the specials department, but in his defense, you know, that, that type of work down there does take a little bit more getting used to. So no lack of effort. The key thing is they are having the right attitude and every one of them had the right attitude. Uh, you, you will consider us uh, to bring your staff? Absolutely. All I can say is really, really impressed with the people that you've brought in today. Thank you very much, Andy. No problem. Right. Okay. See you again soon. See you, Take mate. care. The next time the factory needs new workers, Sean and the other temps will be top of the list. 
I have just got an email back from Denise saying basically that all the temps did really, really well. And she's basically said she's now put Candelisa People down as a second tier supplier and apparently all the managers were delighted. Good teamwork all around, I'm really, really pleased. And I'm really pleased that the client said all of them they would have given a job to. After pulling out all the stops to rebuild trust with the delivery company, Phil's had bad news. Just four weeks into his new job there, eager worker Gordon has dropped a bombshell. He has put, dear Phil, I regret to inform you that with immediate, of my immediate resignation, the challenging, difficult and awkwardness of the calls that I had to deal with was too uncomfortable. With the calls being quite constant, he's left with, with no choice to resign, which is quite a shame but I did try my best to make this work. Yours sincerely, Gordon. Yes, I've got an appointment. I've got an appointment to see Phil. Unfortunately, that last position that I had didn't suit me down. What was it that didn't suit you? This particular day, I was getting calls. Customer straight away, not good enough. This caller was then going then personal at me. Yeah. Saying that I've lost a parcel. I haven't lost a parcel. I've given him the best advice. He was so... Very, very, very rude to me, Phil. I haven't lost this battle and thankfully I never will. The client was happy with Gordon, but with his sudden resignation, it's another tough day for Phil. I wish Gordon had come to me before he, he, he decided to, to resign from the role and make it as, as final as this. Hoping to have a better day is Carlos. Anxious that his newest recruit doesn't let them down, Carlos is checking up on Becky at the Christine's factory. In temporary workers, they can go at any time, and that's why you have to really be on top of it uh, uh, and look after them. Otherwise, they will go. Do you think that you love this job enough to be here in five years? Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Yeah. You really like yeah. it? Yeah. Show us one then. Becky's got a spotless attendance record and she's labelling 400 buckets a day. Carlos is interviewing a lot of people. Sometimes he gets it right and sometimes he gets it wrong. And on this occasion, he's, he's just picked a winner. I, I'm really peace of mind and happy that I know that you're doing well and, and you're actually loving it. Yeah. I, I know you're not going to leave tomorrow and no. so on. The worst thing for me is if I keep bringing people here and they keep leaving and coming and leaving and yeah. coming, Neville's going to say, what are you doing to me, Carlos? Yeah. Doing... <laughs> when I saw Becky, it was like, my God, I can't thank my lucky stars. It was like just perfect. It really was. Um, and it made me look good. And it was her making me look good, you know. And I thank her for that. Back at the agency, Phil's asked to see Jane for a word in private. Is she laughing or is she being sick? Are you all right? You're not in pain again, are you? Okay. Oh, I'll leave you to it. I don't know, she's not in pain and she's crying, but they're both crying, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really good with people that are crying, though. You're going to make me really upset now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You know, things have been tough. Men have really tried um, to make you proud. I know you have to. That's why you're making me cry. Really kind of sat down and chatted things through with the pros and cons of being a recruitment consultant. Yeah, I knew it was going to be difficult. <sighs> but with everything at the moment, personally. I'm just finding it too much. It's hard. I know. I know you've been struggling, I know you have. But you're not just doing this because of everything that happened the other day. You're not just jumping too quickly. I'm really sorry I'm getting emotional, but I really wanted it to work out for you. <laughs> so I think at the moment, with that crossroads in my life, thinking, right, do we just look at reevaluating? Do we go back to being a trolley dolly? <laughs> being a cabin crew. You're a very good trolley dolly, I've seen you. Don't you stop loving on them. I've already had a big. You too.
the work's become too much for Phil, and um, he's dropped a bit of a bombshell. So that was that was really sad. Sad news to take today. I'm gonna miss him loads. Do you think you'll Incredibly, the people got Rachel, Jane, Aga, Carlos, Julie, Jonathan. Great people in their right. I would m immensely miss everybody here. I think a lot of friends for life. And it, it's an, it is a nice place to work, but it's, it's maybe just not right for me.